Hi, I'm Jonathan Power. I'm former world number one and Peter Nichols' probably greatest rival, or he was my greatest rival, if that says anything. So a lot of people associate my game with deception. And the big thing about deception, everybody wants to talk about all the trick shots, but I want to talk to you a little bit about the theory of deception. How you get to the spot on the court where you create deception is by getting on the ball early, hitting good length, getting in front of the guy on the tee, and when you see that ball dropping in the back corner and you know he's gonna lift it, I'm already preparing for deception on the tee. So once he clips that side wall or leaves that ball loose, I want to explode onto the ball with my racket up, forehand or backhand, and I like to keep it in a three-quarter position. Not here, here, so I can lean into the ball and I can either snap it to the back by, or hold it right here and quickly do a little loop, a little C with my racket and drop it in the corner or do that same C and snap it to the back. I want to create five or six different options from a very simple swing position. I can do the same on the back end. As I enter onto the ball, I enter onto the ball very quickly by me exploding onto the shot and really using my speed to jump onto the ball. That freezes the guy on the tee makes him a little bit scared and sort of glues his feet to the ground and then whatever I choose to do from that position it needs to be quick so I don't want to hold it and then play a nice slow shot because he's going to go the wrong way and then move back and play the ball I want to jump on the ball hold it and whatever I do I want to create racket head speed so quick drop quick snap and all sorts of different options from that spot so that's a little bit about the theory. Maybe we can clip to a few of the times I actually sent somebody the wrong way because me talking about it is probably not giving you a real image in your mind, but uh, I can show you a few things now, but uh, I'm kind of old and slow and don't quite have the same hands as I used to. So maybe uh, we should hit the, the replay button in my yesteryears. Oh, that's a great drop shot from three quarter court. Peter just got it back, but it was decisive in deciding. Quality of this rally, quite immense. Jonathan to move on to and then use the wrist as he did then. And look at that for a finish.